everyone, I'm JC Perry, you can call me Jo. Um, thanks to Elden Library for letting me read my story to you today. It's a scary tale called Tom's Zombie Fight. Um, I wrote this when my son Tom became really obsessed with um, a zombie video game and he'd play it all the time. He'd draw pictures of it, he'd dream about it. And um, I thought, well, that could, that could make a good story. What if you played it so much it made him really scared? Um, so I hope you like the story. I'm just going to spook things up a little bit. Well, that's not scary, is it? Let's try again. That's better. Okay, Tom's Zombie Fright. In an old tall house at the end of the lane, there lived a young boy. Tom was his name. Tom had woken up in a giddy mood today. Dad had promised him a new video game to play. This was a treat for doing so well at school, for swimming 20 metres at the swimming pool. He'd been given a certificate to say, well done. His parents were as proud as punch of their son. Tom asked, can we get the video game now, Dad? Dad replied, eat your breakfast first, lad. Tom ate his cereal and slurped from his cup. Then he told his sister Lorna to try and hurry up. In five minutes flat, they were ready to go. Tom shouted, come on, Mum and Dad, don't be slow. That's what I tell you on school days, said Bum. Come on, said Dad excited, don't spoil the fun. They rushed to the car and set off for town. Stopping at the red lights made Tom frown. They made it to the shop and Tom ran inside. Wow, look at all the cool video games, he cried. There were sports games, fighting games, racing games galore. He found the one he wanted on the second floor. Vegetables versus zombies was the one that caught his eye. He took it downstairs for his mum and dad to buy. We can't buy him that, said mum. It'll give him bad dreams. It's just a bit of fun, said dad. It's not as scary as it seems. Tom played it ten times that night and twenty times the next. He played it so often that it left his parents vexed. He'd think about the zombie game all day long. Mum became worried that there might be something wrong. Go out and play with your friends, she said. No, replied Tom, I want to play this game instead. He'd dream about the zombie game at night in his bed. In fact, zombies were the only thing that filled his head. He'd draw zombies in such detail that it took him all night. When he showed the drawings to his friends, it gave them quite a fright. One night when a zombie dream disturbed his sleep, Tom crept downstairs with a creep, creep, creep. And, you guessed it, he played the zombie game. But something about tonight just didn't feel the same. The zombie dream had spooked him and he felt a little scared. But for what happened next, he would never be prepared. He didn't hear the lounge door creak as it opened wide. Nor the growing sound of footsteps falling by his side. Then Tom saw a dark figure in the corner of his eye. The figure lurched towards him with his arms held high. It's a zombie! Tom shrieked, covering his face in fear. Stay away from me, please don't come near. Suddenly the lights were on and mum and dad were there. The zombie was his sister with messy matted hair. Looks like Lorna's sleepwalking, said mum. Let's get her into bed. And you should be asleep too, Tom. Come on, Dad said. Since that night, Tom finds other things to do, like playing with his friends or trying something new. He still plays the zombie game, but not as much as before. And now he keeps half an eye on the lounge door. And that's the end. So he was still a bit worried he might bump into a real zombie. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it didn't scare you too much. Um, there's my son with his actual real drawings of zombies, which I used in the book. So when he's uh, drawing zombies, those are my son's actual sketches, so he's really chuffed about that. Um, and if your little one fancies doing some drawing tonight, why not draw your own scary book cover? Or even your own scary computer game cover, like the one that Tom picks in the shop. Well, I hope you have a lovely Halloween and I hope you get lots of sweets um, and hopefully I'll see you soon. 
Bye-bye.